What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto the channel. This video is going to be Battlefield 2042 development update for Season 4, Classes, New Map, and more. They just dropped this not too long ago. I woke up. I'm a little disheveled. Forgive me. But we're going to jump into this. Show me what you got. <laughs> Let's do this. Hi. Talk I'm Alexia Christoffi from the Battlefield 2042 development team. Right. Welcome to Season 4. Right. 11th hour. Right. Let's start with our new map, Flashpoint. Flashpoint. Here's a look at what you can expect from it. Welcome to the Richtersveld, a once thriving biodiversity hotspot based in the rugged desert of northern South Africa. Now an abandoned development complex doomed for failure. And our next setting for Season 4, 11th hour. <laughs> This is Flashpoint. Go, go, go. Get your squad together and make your move on flag A1. A short to medium Boo, vehicle friendly conquest. combat Boo, zone that you need to take map. command of or risk losing it to the enemy. Move forward with your squad to flag B1. But have your wits about you as this multi-tiered short to medium close quarters combat area will be swimming with enemies. All just waiting to take yeah, 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 yeah. Get your whole squad in the CAV brawler and get straight into the fray in at flag C1 where the fight will be above, below, and close quarters at every turn. Word of warning, keep an eye out for sharpshooters. Boo, snipers. Bring your ground vehicle and your A game to flag D1 as you take the fight inside using the vehicle elevator and with ample cover, any infantry at your side will stand a chance to make it out alive. A short sprint across the desert oh, to flag E1, where an infantry-focused ah. turbine room and side tower awaits until the building ah. comes crashing down on you. Regroup your squad and lead the way to flag F1, a large team that match inspired space that's yours Looks for the cool. taking. All wrapped around the large and central reactor core, a close quarters combat dream. Push onwards to flag G1 and lock it down this fast. Yet. This is one flag you want to control and keep Maps the enemy decently back. Decently big. The shorty again. <laughs> Get out there and be a class above. No pets. Uh, I think Conquest would be good on this map. Seems Season linear. 4 also brings with it a new specialist, Camilla Blasco. Talk to me. Here's what she brings to the battlefield. Get me close and I'll get us through this. I wonder how weak that thing will be. Ah. Ah. <laughs> As you saw, she's an ambush expert. Perfect for me. Uh, Using her reconnaissance training and customized tactical gear to flank, move flank, without flank. alerting motion-based technology. Flank, flank, flank. Her X6 infiltration device prevents any lock-ons from hostile devices. It That's also so interferes strong. with active spotting technology and creates communication dead zones within its range until destroyed or deactivated. This dead zone also pinpoints and reveals enemy tech to allow for quick, effective disposal, making her a great tactical asset to the new squad. Her and Plasco Irish will sit together. Within the recon class God and be dang. the last specialist we bring to the game. There are now 14 in total, all bringing a variety of gameplay across the four classes. Our focus is to continue to listen to your feedback and bring design and balance changes to our return to the class system, as well as expanding on skins and cosmetics <coughs> to give you more ways to stand out on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Looking to expand your arsenal? Well, Season 4 brings an array of new yes. weapons with it. Yes. The Super 500 shotgun sidearm may seem high risk, but it also brings with it the opportunity of high reward. A yes, compact sir. stockless pump action shotgun that's perfect for both breaching and close quarters combat situations. I will be using range, this. <laughs> so it's perfect for that sidearm slot to deal some extra damage. The RM-68 Assault Rifle, mm. a next-generation assault rifle with built-in silencer offers counterweight for improved stability and recoil control. Powered by 6.8mm plastic case ammo, it's a versatile rifle with integrated Ooh. canted sights and a unique muzzle device that allows you to adapt oh, to every situation, perfect wow. for those up-close and personal battles on Flashpoint. The AC-9 SMG is an extremely lightweight submachine gun like set up for fast hip-fire exchanges. Its small size makes it far more controllable than its rate of fire would make you believe. The RPT-31 is a new prototype yes. LMG with a low rate of fire, heavy hitting rounds, and a very fast bullet speed. Its brand new design fulfills the need for a belt-fed, intermediate caliber machine gun, offering high mobility but excellent cover fire capabilities. 
Season 4 will also bring with it more vault, vault weapons. weapons. Content from Portal that is now available for use IPA in All Out Warfare. SVD. At the start of the season, you'll get to experience the SVD from Battlefield 3, a semi-automatic sniper rifle with a 10-round magazine. It has a strong default zoom on its scope, making it great for those long-range engagements. You will also be able to get your hands on the Type 88 LMG, another Battlefield rifle. 3 edition. The CAV Brawler is perfect for the close DMR. quarters combat you'll experience on the Flashpoint map, as it's able to be equipped with a detection pulse that locates enemy soldiers close by. When you're on the defensive, its threat detection system is able to highlight when you're being attacked. Then its yeah. active protection system and close defense system can take out enemy projectiles and targets close by with grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect for squad play across the classes. With its open seats vital for repairing the vehicle or taking on enemies, it can also be used to spawn on by your entire squad, even when all the seats are occupied. The SPH Explosive Launcher is Season 4's new gadget. It fires explosives oh that latch onto its target and oh explode boy. after delay. <laughs> Effective against infantry, it shoots up to two projectiles that are oh. housed inside one casing before needing to reload. Oh. Season 4... I didn't see a lot of drop on that. Hold on. Wait, 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 Two projectiles that are housed inside one casing before needing. <laughs> Imagine a McKay being above your head with this thing. <gasps> wait, they're playing Zane in this clip. That so Zane? Wait, 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 wait. Time, 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 time. Zane can have his launcher and the grenade launcher. Dude, what? <laughs> Uh, Irish, I'm gonna need you. Somebody, please. Somebody's got to just follow me around with Irish. <laughs> oh my god. Need to reload. Season 4 will, of course, include a new battle pass featuring 100 tiers of free and premium content. From Tier Zero's new legendary skin for an old friend. Irish. To tier 100 specialist set for Blasco. You can play to unlock her. Looks pretty good. The new weapons, gadget, vehicle, and tons of cosmetics to help you stand out on the battlefield. And as with previous seasons, players who manage to reach tier 100 will receive enough battlefield currency to unlock season 5's battle pass. There it is. Oh, here we go. In our 3.2 update, we made a return to the class system for Battlefield 2042. Our specialists are now assigned into one of our four classic and familiar classes. Assault, Recon, Support, and Engineer. We've redefined the gear and equipment each class has access to, to shape a more structured and understandable role on the battlefield Rat. for you all. With your own distinct class gadget and skills crucial to success on the battlefield, playing as a squad has never been more vital. Since season one, we've brought you evolved, we reworked versions of our launch maps, Hourglass. and there's two more you to took go. It out of the rotation. Later in season four, you'll get to experience the updated discarded. discarded. So let's take a look at how it's shaping up. We've given more importance right, to the flag position in the submarine, while adding new cover to black line mm. of sight, especially when coming from the corridors into this room. We've also worked on the lighting across the map to improve visibility. Mm. We've strengthened this flag on the colors deck to allow soldiers in the lookout to keep the beach under control. With an added variety of cover to improve infantry combat, the destroyed ship tower gives the space a more epic look and feel. What used to be an open field has become the salvage yard. Designed Thank to God. host a variety of combat, the car wrecks and the flip buses provide yeah, cover and decent. alleyway like pads that can give the, TDM the upper hand. A destroyed convoy and rows of military cover have been added to strengthen the front lines of this flag in the dismantled hull. The smoke from the convoy provides cover from snipers on the upper floors of the hull. We've also closed a part of the hull to limit frequent sniping from the deck of the ship. We've now mm. made this flag in the beach worksite part of conquest and breakthrough. So there's always an objective nice. between the Colossus ship nice. and the dismantling yard. Looks better. There are improved paths leading to it by streamlining the roads and adjusting the cover across the beach. The new centerpiece allows for mid to long range combat with cover to make it more approachable for infantry mm, that looks better. but still with space for vehicles to drive around it. We have brought an existing flag closer to the flooded village to better link the north nice. and south parts of the Makes map. Sense. This Makes will allow sense. you to move between these two points more easily. Climb the antenna and parachute or a wingsuit down to the Colossus or the village. 
Then in season five, Hour we'll bring glass. you the final yes. route map. Hourglass. I don't care what y'all say. I love Hourglass. It'll feature a new route under the highway. I love, as part of but, our overall yeah, efforts yeah. to reduce distance between objectives to allow for improved cover, Ooh, here we sight go. lines, and combat. Similar to previous map reworks, we'll be adding a war-torn atmosphere throughout. We'll show you more as we get closer to Season 5. Sheesh. Speaking I'm, of Season 5, haven't played Hourglass we thought we'd give you a tease of its new map. It's a battleground where oh. armies clashed decades ago, oh. trying to secure a oh. vital train track being give used for the transportation of armaments. Now, as the region is once again engulfed in conflict, attempts are taking place to capture the route for the delivery of heavy armor to key positions. Attempting to stop the enemy's plans, a counteroffensive prepares for an ambush that will secure the much needed supply line and tip the balance of power back in their favor. And that's it for me today. We're so proud of the work we've done to improve and evolve the game, and we love hearing the fun you're all having in Battlefield 2042 now. So, let us know what you think of season four. We can't wait for you to get to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you on the battlefield. Appreciate you. So Zane can have that grenade launcher already with his XM30, whatever it's called, launcher. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't know how spammy. It, we'll just have to see. Um, season four map looks good. Battle pad. They, they just kind of went over what we already kind of know. Just some more detail. I haven't played Hourglass since 3.2 came out. Like, it's been taken out of the rotation and breakthrough. I haven't played it once. It's been weeks. So, hopefully, with Season 4 coming out, they'll put Hourglass back in rotation. We're obviously getting dis I thought we were supposed to get Hourglass first, but they flipped. We're getting discarded first. Then we're getting Hourglass last, which sucks, but... I enjoy Hourglass breakthrough attacking. Uh, don't play defending on breakthrough. It's the worst. Probably the worst game mode you can play on defending. And the best if you're attacking. It's so weird. Anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Tell me guys what you think about the dev update. What you think about season four? Season five, we got some concept art of season, the season five map. I forgot the, the map's name in Battlefield 4. It was a DLC map. It was snowy like that. And it had, tra it had train tracks running through the middle of it. And it, it had that dome piece that you could like break up top. And you could go down and it was like a, a, a manufacturing. I don't know what that tank, what that, what that. Uh, map was called but i remember it very vividly it was a dlc map um but it looked kind of like that almost just like that but i don't i don't know but uh like i said like comment subscribe share with your friends it's been just gab guys i'll catch you guys next one peace out <gasps> Ghost oh by the way we'll be streaming today uh yeah so come check that out turn the notification bell bye <laughs>